Hello everyone, this is Gally and this is a new episode of How to Draw Your Dragon. Today we're going to learn how to do dragon feet, more like the paws, the front paws. And this time, as you can see, I grabbed many references from different sources. Most of them are Google, but I wanted to show you what I do when I do reference. So. As you can see, I have various different paws of different animals. Right now, I have a lizard, a birded dragon uh, food. I have another, I think it's a Komodo dragon food. Then there's some ostrich, then an eagle, a polar bear, a dog, a lion. And I think that's it for now. Those are my references. I keep them in a layer, separate from the rest of my work. Now what I do is I try to like record um, what I have here by drawing on top of it. So I grab a new layer or a tracing paper piece if I'm doing it traditionally. So let me see if I can move this here. Yes. So in a new, la new layer, grab your favorite brush that you use for sketching, make it smaller. And as we've done in the other videos, try to draw on top of what you see and try to find specific shapes. So for example, as you can see the knuckles on this dog's paw look like this. Do simple shapes, don't overcomplicate things. So as you can see, um, the claws for example would start down here. And if you removed it, you would be left with your reference. That's just for getting into practice to draw different uh, things. So if you want to draw different kinds of paws, I would recommend you look at different animals again, as I said in every video, because dragons are a mixture of many animals. So what you want to do is get an idea on how they look so you can make your own. So do it as as slow or fast as you want, like take your time and learn, pay attention. The longer you take with one thing, if you're observing what you're doing, the better. But this is for the video, so I'm not going to take that long to trace all of my, my drawing. So this is just copying without really observing. What I want you to do is understand why some of the feet have like smaller fingers right here and longer fingers here or why do eagles have their claws all the way back and then just three fingers like if you're going to copy something learn from it so you can hide this from a different layer once you've done this exercise with as many animals as you want or just the animal you're going to copy for your dragon in that moment you can hide this too and then proceed to make your character. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to grab a different color. I prefer to do the sketching with a, a light color like this so I can see what I'm doing. So just pretend you have already made your dragon character and it's just a side view. So you have your character and you've decided you want this one to have wolf paws. So what you're going to do is you get closer to your drawing. And remember the dog reference we had? This one? What you learn from that, you can actually make it into a drawing. I'm going to change the brush so you can see clear. So what I learned from dogs is that they do have four fingers in the front. And they're close go out here and if you did the other paw you'll see that they have another claw right there which makes it five fingers this could be based on a wolf and you, you see it looks good even if it's a dragon like you would have his wings right here so you see, that's one way of doing it. So the other 
example for example is you want a different pose so the pose is one of the hardest things to grab because all of them might look the same so grab different ideas from poses and I don't know you grab the horse let's imagine you grab a horse for a reference but you don't want the horse's hooves to be your dragon's paws so then you want uh, I don't know an eagle or another reptile uh, this one or you want a wolf I don't know so the idea here is that you grab your reference and if it is a horse it doesn't necessarily mean that your animal or your dragon has to have those legs but you'll see a horse has a very specific structure in their arms so if you want your dragon to look different you can grab for example I don't know uh, a lion and try to see how the paws of a lion might look on a dragon so let's see they're rounder, they're bigger, wider than a wolf's and they have thick arms that could be one option or perhaps you want it to be thinner thinner right here with just two claws okay so that looks very funny but it's like discord from my little pony so you see the point is that you grab another animal and mix it up with another to make a dragon so that's why dragons are so fun if you want to reference I strongly strongly recommend you just focus on the hind legs or the arms or whatever it is you're copying for example a tiger or a big cat to make a realistic animal if you want hooves on your dragon that's fair enough so there's no limit to the things you can copy so please have fun with that what I'm going to do now is make a simple sketch or an idea on how I would draw paws so I will change again to my other brush for paws if I have my character already drawn I like to focus on what they're trying to to say or to achieve for example if a dragon is flying I will usually draw the arm first of course some people like to draw the hands first but I find that quite I don't know complicated for me so let's see imagine I already have the the design I want right and I want this to look like he's flying like this so this might be like a more canine arm it's a little laggy so you want the eagle this would be more for an Asian kind of dragon you have to experiment with what you like best there's no rules as to what kind of arms a dragon should have most people would agree that they would look like reptiles but there's really no need to do that like all the time have you seen chameleons? their feet are so strange they're amazing and they help because they can walk in different ways than we do so I would recommend you do this exercise as many times as you want grab one of your drawings trace it or copy it and just have fun with whatever it is you do sorry that's my phone let's see a chameleon and such so this as you can see are just different versions of the same thing and you can do this at different angles of course looking to the front looking to the side but once you decide or get an idea of what you want to do it's so easy to start making all different ideas for your dragon so if you want to have the feet looking to the front 
then you can. And you can do so many things once you know how they look. So that's the idea, okay? Try to reference, that's the first step. I will type this up because it's easier than writing. So let me make this a little smaller because you won't be able to see it. So well, let me see if this is okay. Nah, maybe it's too small. Oh, okay, no, it went too big. Wait, it's 200 now. Yeah, I think that's better. So in the first place, what you want to do is reference. Okay, reference is, is one of the most important steps. Then try to trace and observe what you're doing. That will be number three. And after you learn how to do it, replicate. And then decide what you want. This will be like the main steps. How do you do this? Well, the way I just did, or there are many other ways you can do it. Mine is not just the only one. That's just the way I do it. So if you're interested in learning different things, go to different artists and you can learn from them as well. Mix it up. So what I do is after I've drawn it, or before, try to get the basic the basic shapes. Then you have noodle arms, and noodle arms are so fun to draw. They're so simple. So you can grab simple shapes, just the circles, ovals, or circles and lines. You see? And then with this, which looks like a spider that's being flung across the room. <laughs> Just create this, like create your own designs on pause and whatever it is you need to, to make. So that's it for now. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you want to make your own character with different kinds of pause, you can also try that. There is no limit to imagination. So please, if you like this video, share and subscribe. I'll be sure to make more videos every week.